In the middle of a migrant crisis where a big chunk of people every day are breaking into Britain, left-wing charities and organizations have decided to sue Priti Patel instead of looking after their own people, the working classes and the poor that the same left-wing organizations pretend to care about. Well, that's a bit annoying. They're making me defend Priti Patel even more. I've been very critical of Priti Patel and the Home Office over the lack of action or just being robust with the French. But this time, the one time that the government are trying to do something, well, trying to do something about it, <laughs> we now have uh, the so-called left-wing activists, the, the socialists, the compassionate communists, mm, uh, actually going against the interests of our own people. Care for Calais, that's one organization, and Channel Rescue is another organization. Uh, it's all, they're all basically fronts for a socialist takeover of the Western world. Uh, these people have decided to come out to say, well, the problem here is that uh, these people who are trying to flee France, a very, very dangerous place, France, and you know, people can't really stay there, um, it's our responsibility. Firstly, not France's responsibility, not the European Union, and not actually personal responsibility of uh, those who have already arrived uh, on the shores of uh, Europe, and they're already in a safe place. This is really embarrassing right now for uh, the compassionate left. So we have Care for Calais. Uh, the founder of Care for Calais, uh, uh, Claire Mosley, said that pushback uh, pro uh, prioritizes politics over people's lives. Uh, refugees are innocent people who were simply unfortunate enough to be born in the wrong place. Oh, so many problems with this. So many issues with accidental, well, essentially being against the different cultures. This is firstly. It's not prioritizing politics over people's lives. Actually, it's prioritizing people's lives long term, including those who use the dangerous route of uh, taking the boats. If you actually do this long term, it will actually work as a prevention. So it will stop and more lives would be saved. This is just astonishing. And also the fact that they say they're unfortunate to, to be born in a wrong place. But who are you to say which country is good, which country is bad? Of course, there are countries right now going through crises. Like right, right now, Afghanistan is a bit of a mess. Libya has been a mess for a long time. But there were also times when these countries were stable. Probably not Afghanistan, but some other countries. Uh, and, you know, the, historically, we've also had a number of places that were chaotic. You remember back in the uh, well, late 30s, early 40s in France, when they were take over, uh, well, there was a takeover of, by the Germans. So at that point, of course, there are situational um, the problems. We can't just say that um, the people who are coming from France are not safe. That's a lie. The other one, Channel Rescue, Kim Bryan, said that it, uh, it's their volunteers are witnessing a practice run by Border Force officials using jet skis to surround in their dinghies on both sides. And they said that, well, we believe this is life-threatening and unlawful. Um, you know, we've given the Home Office a deadline. Otherwise, we are going to sue Priti Patel. So, yeah, their practice could be dangerous. And yeah, absolutely, it's risky, just like many other uh, practices in order to defend your border. And that's the whole point of the concept of defense. And uh, if that's the case, then maybe you want to just shut down the Minister of Defense as well, because sometimes some of the actions in order to defend us and the country, yeah, it'll be dangerous. It's not, we're not forcing the migrants to come here. They, when they choose to pay you know, £3,000, £5,000 to the smugglers, to run away from France just because we obviously give them the free accommodations, four-star hotels, we give them the free food, free money and everything, all the benefits that comes instantly to them and they're safe here, then firstly that's our problem. We made it a lot more attractive to, uh, to get to this country. Also, France, you need to take some responsibility. This channel is going to keep you guys posted because this issue is kind of frustrating me right now because it's no longer just about uh, the ordinary people here who are it's, it's very unfair to them it's also actually a lot of newcomers legal migrants who come here and uh, th their whole aspect is being undermined because you know people who can just essentially use this dangerous route and those who get away with it they are undermining the concept of legal migration subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date to this this uh, well especially this new story i'm my 2c and we are the media